What is a mole? Well, it's not an animal. It's not a suspicious skin tag. In this video, we will explore the concept of a mole in chemistry. Atoms and molecules are very small, and usually we deal with so, so many of them in a reaction. Imagine gumballs in a candy jar in a candy store. Can you count the number of gumballs one by one? This will be very hard. Instead, we can estimate the number of gumballs if we know how many gumballs are in one jar. Similarly, there has to be another way to count atoms or molecules. To solve this problem, scientists came up with the concept of a mole. Mole is a standard scientific unit for measuring large quantities of very small entities such as atoms or molecules. A mole is defined as the quantity of a substance that has the same number of particles as found in 12 grams of carbon-12. This number is 6.022 times 10 to the 23, and it is called the Avogadro's number, in honor of the Italian physicist Amedio Avogadro. Avogadro's number is a similar concept to that of a dozen. A dozen eggs means 12 eggs. One mole means 6.022 times 10 to the 23 elementary entities. 6.022 times 10 to the 23 of what, you may ask? Well, of anything you like. Oranges, stars in the sky, or hamburgers if you're hungry. As you can see, the only practical use for Avogadro's number is when you are dealing with huge numbers of the tiny particles such as atoms or molecules. Scientists also need a way to compare these numbers and relate them to the weights of the substances, which they can measure and observe. One mole of a compound containing 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules of that compound. The mass of one mole of a compound is called its molecular weight or molar mass. For example, one mole of carbon-12 atoms has 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms and a mass of 12 grams. In comparison, one mole of oxygen consists, by definition, of the same number of atoms as carbon-12, but it has a mass of 15.999 grams. Oxygen, therefore, has a greater mass than carbon. On a side note, did you know that Avogadro's number was not discovered by Avogadro? Amedio Avogadro was a lawyer who became interested in mathematics and physics. In 1820, he became the first professor of physics in Italy. Avogadro is most famous for his hypothesis that equal volumes of different gases at the same temperature and pressure contain the same number of particles. This is called the Avogadro's Law. This hypothesis was useful in determining atomic and molecular weights, which led to the concept of the mole. Well, that's it for today. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.